Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. We've made it to Goron City. And we have the Flamebreaker armor now, so we don't have to worry about fireproof elixirs now. There's a few other things that we can look at while we're here. There's the inn, where we can stay if we want to. Also, there's just 50 rupees just laying around some in some of these pots, so... Might be worth breaking a few. Probably not with the Master Sword, though. There's also just a general sh general shop here. Oh, does this not going to give me rupees? Okay, that's going to give me a blue one. There's also over here we can buy some toasted, um, some cooked food if we want it. But I don't really think it's worth it. Since you can just go kill things for free and cook it for free. While we're in here, though, the shop, there's some rock salt we can buy, some fire arrows, some ice arrows, which I can believe you can also use against the Igneo Talus, some Goron Spice, which we've heard about, and some cane sugar. Now, I think I'm actually going to buy some of this Goron Spice. Let's buy, like, three, I guess. That's as much as you can get. If you want three of them, that'll cost you 48 rupees. Hang on. Oh, that's just all that's in stock. Okay. Thanks, brother. Hope it serves you well. Made from several types of spices, this secret Goron seasoning has been handed down for generations. An in uh, initial wave of spiciness passes the way for the sweetness. Interesting. Sounds pretty good. Anyway, let's follow this main path over here. Let's talk to this guy. Drat, that blasted Rudania. What's wrong? With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping around up there on the mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stomp stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannons to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Youch. Ow, 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 ow. Are you okay? It's just some back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler. I see. So then, you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like, I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I don't know. I'm the great Grand Boss, who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry. Either way. Yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. Bludo? I don't know. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted Yonobo. When will he ever return? Who is Yonobo? Yonobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned uh, North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Slacker. Betty's off somewhere wasting time. Hey! If you want happen to see Yonobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Ouch. Divine Beast Farudania now. We can also see this, um... Got a statue here, but I don't think I have anywhere near enough spirit orbs. Nope. I love how each of these guardians... No, these, um... What are they called? Goddess statues. Is dressed up differently. And now, let's head up this path. Because there's something important up here. And I don't mean the main quest. I mean something even better than that. Because up this way... Is a shrine... Which is going to make it a lot easier for us if we ever want to come back, because it means we can just teleport here. 
and not have to climb up the entire mountain again. Swinging flames. So, I think you need to have fire when you're going into this. But it probably exactly, it probably wants you to actually have, um, like a flame blade. But we don't have a flame blade, so let's just figure out an alternative with some fire arrows. We can see some leaves on the ground which we can set fire to, and they just chain reaction themselves. Making it very satisfying. And we can solve puzzles with this. Let's put that down there. Now, what's over here? Oh, an actual fire. Good. Actually, uh, that's really good. Now. Oh, hang on. Just gonna be very careful here. We can set that on fire by just holding this torch up. We can set this on fire by... Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. Ah, uh, I'm fire. Even though I'm wearing the flame breaker stuff, you can still get set on fire. Stone Smasher, a two-handed weapon forged from a rare me metal mined in Goron City. Its center of gravity is at its tip. So it uses a uh, centrifugal force and its sheer weight to smash ob opponents flat. Okay, let's drop that and take a picture of that probably. Very nice. And now I'm guessing I'm still going to want to burn things, so let's take this with me. I hope there's a guardian. There's two guardians. Multiple guardians. And I don't think the Master Sword's gonna glow to these because they aren't, they aren't infused with malice. Oh, three guardians, many guardians. Oh, block. Block everything. Please actually hit them. There we go. Not too bad. Um. Man, I really need to actually do something with. Um. My. What's it called? What's it called? My ice... Oh my goodness. My ice rod. I need to do something with my ice rod. Ruby, thank you. Which reminds me, I probably need to actually set a treasure chest tracker in here. So we can actually get all of those. There's a treasure chest nearby, no way. That's crazy. It's like there's a chest in this shrine somewhere. Now, if we go up here... I don't see the point. Oh, hang on. I, now I see. That kind of... is still pointless. Both of these, um... Um... Can be used to move with... Magnesis. So why would you need to burn that? We can just pull it off and drop it in the... Okay. Anyway, that orb's just gonna go there now, from now on. So I don't have to worry about that. Even if we drop it into places where it's not supposed to be, it will still go where it needs to when it respawns. Okay, let's see. Over here, we can press this, which drops that through. Oh. Is that really just it? Is that gonna... Yes, that is. I wonder how I can cheese this. I can probably cheese this in many ways. Also, the orb just goes back there, I think, if I can see it. I really can't. So where did it go? It's just gone. Um, now I wanted to check. This is so weird. Why did the where the orb go? And why did it not respawn? I want to check. Going back to what I was doing, if I can bring out some firewood. 
think I only need three, but I'm going to just put four in and then pick one up. I wonder if this will actually work, because I doubt it will, because it's made of stone and not exactly going to move very quickly if I set a fire underneath it. But let me see. Updraft, maybe? Oh, that didn't even updraft. Can you updraft in a shrine? No, you can't. Interesting. Well, at least I know now. It's very interesting. Um... I wonder if pressing the switch is going to respawn the thing. Oh, it just respawns, but the button needs to be pressed again. Okay, that makes sense. So, I don't think we need to actually worry about pressing the button for too long, but we can also just... do a little bit of that as well. If we need to, I think. I think that'll work. Am I wrong? I'm wrong, okay. Well then, let's just let that drop. Oh, the orb is there. Um, up that way, orb. Go back over that way. <laughs> back, back, back on the track. There we go. We just need to let that pass through, and then let's run. There we go. There's a treasure chest back here. Let's grab that. I, I'm just... Uh, uh, Needlessly complicating things. Small key. There's still a chest in here somewhere. So we probably want to get that before we leave. And it seems to be in this direction. I think what I need is to go down here. Yes, there. Some ice arrows, and that is all the chests in the shrine, cool. Now that I've overcomplicated things, let's leave. Oh, there's still more. Well, that's okay. Um, what is the point of that dropping? I don't see the point of that dropping, anyway. Let's just shoot regular arrows for this. Oh, I probably need to actually swing those. Oh, but they also disappear if I'm not stepping on the switch. That's interesting. Let's bring that over here and then wait for it to swing back again and then go. What's the point of this? Is that just supposed to drop onto something down there, I guess? Oh, I wonder if that's the first room and you're supposed to shoot that down to actually get through there. I think my way's better. Just using fire arrows. Anyway. You still need arrows to get through regardless, so... Okay, um, I need to quickly change my equipment because my bow is going to burn if I don't, so let's remove that. And looks like we need to switch from uh, torch, otherwise that's going to burn up as well. Okay, well, let me get rid of that since we don't need that anymore. And let's just head up this way. Oh, that's not going to happen. That's not good. That's not good. That's not, that's not good at all. There we go. It looks like we're getting closer to where we need to be now. Since the marker on our map is getting close. Abandoned North Mine. Is that a... Ah, no, no, I don't want to do that. Also, we've already fallen into lava before, but if you fall into lava, it's just instant. Instant. Respawn thing. It's not instant game over. 
but it 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 kind of works like a pit. Yeesh, what's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know, it gets much hotter past here. And there are lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Do you know, you know, Bo? Why a strange... Why is a stranger like you asking about Yonobo? Boss wants to know. No. Huh? Boss does? Well, then I guess you, I'd better tell you where Yonobo is. Ah. Yonobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous. So you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, do you need something? I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why does he stretch out his sentences? I don't know. Anyway, let's read this. Death Mountain, marker number six. Abandoned North Mine. Keep level two. No unauthorized access. Well, I'm okay. And this, this area here took me a while my first time because I didn't understand how it worked. So, the way that it works... Hey, stop that! That's boss's cannon! Don't you dare touch that lever! So, we actually need to actually slash at this switch there to have that move. And now, if we put a, a round bomb into it, it will roll in and then we can shoot it to fire the cannon at stuff in front of us, which is really cool. Now, does this actually aim at anything that I need to know about? Not really by the looks of it. Let me just put that in and then fire it anyway. There we go. Now, I believe somewhere around here is where I'm going to go. Also, there's just enemies around here that we can... Oh, that we need to be careful about. Oh, don't! Touch the water, it's lava. That stuff. Hey, I need to also take a picture of you, I think, because you should be a different... No, I've already got a picture of you. Goodbye. Oh, there he goes, into the lava. Oh, he's fine in the lava. That would make sense. Also, you can dip your toes into the lava a little bit and be alright. Still wouldn't recommend, though. Because you'll still take damage. Just a little bit. Now, Let's see what's up here. Anything? Oh, this is where I blew the blow them up. Blew, blew, blew them up. There's nothing there, except it was making a lot of noise at me. Yeah, what's that? That sound? What is that sound? Oh my goodness, I fell in the... Oh. Just walking off an edge and then it pushes you forward with momentum for some reason. Anyway, I'm guessing that was nothing. Just to make my life a little bit easier. Although, what if it's over there? Hang on. I have to know. Also, was that a shooting star I just saw? Might have been. What am I hearing? Is it like... Something in the lava? I don't think you can get stuff out of the lava. But it sounds like something sparkling here. It's not the Lizabo. It could just be the music as well, which would be very unfortunate. Anyway, back to actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's just not fire over there towards... Well, maybe we will. What happens if I do this? Hang on. Nothing, it just lands there. Cool. Anyway, if we move this over this way, though, we can put this into there. And now, we can shoot that. And that would have got rid of the things there, I guess. So that there wasn't really any point to doing that, then. Unless there's a blood moon in between anything. But anyway, over here, we have this we can hit with something, if I can actually select the right button. 
Oh, but I, my thing's gonna break. It's gonna be on fire. Oh, put, put, change, change it. Do it there, there. Okay, we're fine. We can use this updraft here to get across. And then, getting all the way across here. There's a lot of things around this place. Um, but if we go over here, we can drop that in there. And we can shoot the enemies that are annoying me. Same with the one over here. And there's also that rock there that's going to be in our way. I believe it's a lava rock, so we kind of actually want to get rid of that. But to do that, we need to actually fire the cannon as it's moving. Just like that. And now this cannon is pretty much served its purpose. Let's go this way, I think. Probably. It's a thing over here that we can use. An updraft. Oh my goodness, okay. So I might be worth blowing this up. Unless you have... Actually, no. Stop. 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 Hang on. Throw that away. Into the lava. I can apparently still blow it up while it's in the lava. We have... A stone smasher. Let's use that, because that's probably gonna work out a lot better for us. Okay. Everything's fine now that I'm actually doing things properly. What is this? A red Lizalfos tail. The severed tail of a fire breath Lizalfos. Its flavor... Its flavor makes the flesh inedible, but lo but toss it into a stew with some critters, and you have yourself a nice elixir. Okay. Cool, good to know. Let me just hit this. And let's glide across here, hopefully not dying. There's some um, updrafts for us. Okay, another cannon. What can I do with a cannon? What could I possibly do with a cannon? Where's that aimed at right now? It's aimed over there. So we might just see where that's what's it gonna do. Probably not gonna hit anything. Yeah, it's just going to land in the lava. But if we fire while we're moving, we can probably hit those enemies. Just like that. And then we can get rid of the skull over there. And now we can just go across, probably. Oh, that's not the extra path. Let's go this way. This is safer. Also, I think you meant to use this updraft from there. Anyway, it's very cool that this place over here is blown up, though. Let's grab this chest that's just sitting here. Some ice arrows. I'm guessing that's good against the fire breath of the Zalfos. If we needed to use it. Okay, there's another cannon. Which we probably want to use because it's going to be very satisfying. Let's just go across here. This, this area is very in-depth for some reason. As you can see, this is aimed at that tower over there. Which means it's going to be very bad news for them. So good. Um, I also think we need to blow up that rock over there, though. So let's just move this. And I think it's going to be in the correct position by, auto by default. So that's going to hit that. There we go. Gotta grab some more of this. And let's keep on going. I think there's something up here if we take out their tower, so. Another chest. I love blowing things up. Knight's bow. Not really that important. If there are any corks over here, I'm gonna definitely miss them. And I think we're very close now to our actual location. Oh. Yes, we are. But it looks like it's blocked off with some rocks. So let's go over to this cannon. And I'm guessing it's not going to line up properly. So I'm going to actually need to time my shot a little bit better. And go. Perfect. Okay, 
Let's uh, go. Oh, am I gonna stop climbing over this cannon all weird? I probably wanna actually use this updraft a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. Thank you. And there we go. And uh, there might be a Korok on top, but I don't really know. Let's go say hello. Now that I've gotten a good look, whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the one who broke through that uh, crag to rescue me? Goro? Thanks, brother. But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Uh, I'm looking for a, a Goron called Unobo. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Phew, thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for the for boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance, Goro? With a cannon. Huh? huh? You use boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use, I thought only boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Hmm. Sorry, I've got to run. But do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may ha be gruff, but he's... Uh, he always repays a favor. I'm sure there are, there's a reward in it for you. Okay then. Bye now. Bye. Goodbye for now, Goro. Well, let's have a look around here then. Obviously want to check the top because there's always a croc at the top of something. Almost always. This is quite an impressive structure, so I'm guessing that there's probably got to be one. Of course there is. Never doubt. Nev never doubt. There we go. Just going to drop that on him. And there's also some things in here that we saw when we had that introduction. So some pots with some rupees apparently. Gonna break all that. Oh, 50 rupees, thank you. There's also some treasure chests in here. And a sledgehammer and a cobble crusher, new weapon. So let's have a look at that cobble crusher. A Goron made two-handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge, so it relies on its sheer weight to crush all opponents. This is a better version of the Stone Smasher, I think. How much? No, I know, it's this, the worst version of the, cobble, the Stone Smasher. Anyway, let's have a look at these treasure chests then. Some ice arrows, and... A purple rupee. Lots of rupees around here, apparently. So there we go, that should be everything over here, so let's head back to that area over there now. Which I could probably just teleport to, for simplicity. But I think I can also just glide across, probably. As long as I don't land in the lava, I'm gonna be fine. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, the, the Lizalfos are there as well. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there. Hang on, I just wanna quickly... I'll ice you a question. So yeah, that worked out fairly well. Okay. Well, that's all that done. Goodbye, sir, who stretched out words for some reason. That was a lot of stuff for that small area. 
There's also some other things around here that we probably can look at at some point. Um, but for now, I'm getting destroyed by f flaming boulders just landing on my head. Um, just gonna eat some basic stuff, I guess. Wow, that's really just three? Okay. And I don't need cold resistance since I've got special armor for that. Run, 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 run. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm calm. Back to Goron City. Let's see if we're actually going to get a reward from this. Ah, it's the Tiny Traveler. You know, but told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? <sighs> Fireproof elixir times three. Okay then. Well, I took my painkillers, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. I mean no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if you're not there to give that Rudania a good walloping... Daruk? Are you really telling me you don't know th about Daruk, the Grand Champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Champions know they better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. What's gotten into you? Hylians sure are strange. Anyway, Yonobo is actually a descendant of the Great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to drive off Rudania. Yowch. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Oh yeah, just peachy. 
dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. So yeah, those giant statues up there, one of them is um, Daruk. But also the other one that you can see is a familiar face from a previous game. I can't remember which name is that is, but he's the one you have in um, Majora's Mask. So that's a cool reference. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.